<laughs> Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Topoco Lodge. You've got the lodge itself, folks, with rooms and suites that would cost three times as much in Charleston if, you went, if they were located over there. Cabins, the Topoco Tavern, even a couple of bars where a man can drink a beer, all by the river, all surrounded by the Smokies. Let me tell you, folks, book now for the holiday months. This place is gorgeous, gorgeous, as the colors change and get toward winter. Topoco.com to learn more. All right, we have run through some of Jeremy Pruitt's pointed comments that he made yesterday. A bit more salty than what he had said earlier in the year, and we discussed Maybe why is, that, is it Alabama? Is he, did he think they'd turned a corner? Is he just frustrated by losses? Any of those could be true. Uh, but when you talk about needing to get 25 new guys in, when you say you've only got four seniors who are playing and we could trade them for new blood, is there a chance that there are guys on this roster who don't respond well to that? Is there a chance you have some guys who check out? I know that the, the goal would be and the hope would be that fires them up and motivates them. They're good. They come out there and get killed for you. But if they haven't killed for you yet, <laughs> does this just turn them all the way off? What are your thoughts? Is there a potential for problems here or no? I think there is. Uh, and, but the guys that, that take a problem to it are the guys that you probably need to get rid of anyway. You know, if you're, if you're one of the guys that you're out there playing hard, you're getting better every single week. You know, when you're shaving in the mirror or, or trimming up, you don't care what another person's saying about in their press conference or things about that. You're focused on, okay, I got rehab today, I got class, and I got things like that. The comments don't mean anything. You just go out and work. Mm -hmm. Sterling? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, my, my thing is, you know, it's, it's a new breed of athlete out there now. You know, you said to the guy back when we played, I mean, we, oh, Coach, you don't talk about us like that. But, you know, I think Coach Pruitt is an incredible competitor. And he's an incredible, he, he's a man that, you know, he hates to lose, let alone lose somebody that's a friend of his, you know. So, you know, I think it's just, he was on, in the moment. I think, you know, when it's time to start preparing for South Carolina, which it is today, I think he'll be doing what he needs to do to encourage his players to do the right thing on that field come Saturday. He, he had a moment. Sometimes you have those moments and the mic's in front of you, the camera's in front of you, and you don't, you know, say things that everybody likes. And uh, I think he just had one yesterday, but he's an incredible competitor. Any danger in the, any concerns you might have or no? Inherent, or these guys, or inherent, the, inherent danger, but it's a little bit of Rick Barnes in that, isn't there? I mean, and, and mm -hmm. when you look at it, what is the one thing that you can't coach? Anybody who's played, you can't coach effort. you got to remember, these players weren't recruited by Jeremy Pruitt. He's looking at a lot of guys saying, I don't think I would have recruited him, but we got to have him out there to play. So this is going to come to a point where, yes, it could get bad. There, there was... Previously, he has taken the route that Barnes took initially, and a lot of good coaches take this route, and that is instead of saying, well, when I get my team in here, this kind of reeks of a little bit of when I get my team in here. Not saying he's wrong. I, I agree right. he needs to get better players in here. But we've been on this show and we've praised guys in the past who've said, oh, this is my team. Even if they know and we all know they're just saying that, we praise them for saying that. This is a little different. Do you think there's a danger to it, or does it matter with this? With these guys aren't there, you're not going to lift them up, yeah. no matter what you say. Yeah, that, that's kind of the blend of it because you're coming out of this Alabama game, and you. My first question was, how did the players just respond from their poor performance? Do, do they improve? Did they bounce back this week? Did they see on tape the issues they had? Maybe they get a little confidence back from going up against a South Carolina team that is not Alabama, but. Uh, I, I think there was also maybe a little walking back in the press conference from Jeremy Pruitt when he said, well, over the last 10 months, guys have, for the most part, done what we've asked of them in the program. And I'd say in, in meetings with the team, he'll say, guys, we need to get back to what we were going into Auburn, coming out of that Georgia game. So then you get back to, is Tennessee good enough to, to repeat what he was able to do in getting a win on the road against Auburn? He made a comment at one point that this team's learned how to practice, but we need more than seven on offense and five on defense, or vice versa, something to that effect. So it was even – even when he tried to couch it yesterday, he still had to get a dig in there, I thought, at times. But and, and I one, just think he's frustrated. One I'm last not thing, saying that's wrong. Did Jeremy Pruitt fool himself into thinking Tennessee had a legitimate shot to beat Alabama and then it just blew up? I say yes. Uh, I think that's a positive. And, and did he think he was going to have a better year this year? Yes. According to people yes. around town, there are a lot of people who say they've talked to him and he, he yes. specifically said it. That could be a wives' tale. But that certainly made its way. Everybody in the media has heard it. Yes. That he had told some people, oh, yeah, we're going to start 4-0. and Did he say it? I don't know. But I think most coaches would probably talk themselves into thinking we're going to be better than we are. 
So that's good. All right. Uh, when we come back, uh, there were a lot of kids yesterday in the stands who were with their orange clad parents, but the kids were in red. Has Tennessee lost a generation of fans over the last decade? We'll discuss. Come on back on the Sports Source.